All right, this is how you modify a WISE door sensor, magnetic switch sensor, uh, to do a whole bunch of other stuff rather than just detect a magnet. So the first step is open her up just like you were to change the battery. Next step, go ahead and pop out the battery and then you're going to very carefully pry up this board. I found that a just a small flathead does the job. And the key part to this is, I need my screwdriver to show you, right in the middle, see where that hole is? There is like a tiny piece of plastic holding the board down. So if you stick your screwdriver in this way and just give it a little twist, that'll pop and then this whole board will come out. And there you go, the whole board is out. All right, so the part that you are going to remove is the magnetic sensor or reed switch, which is this glass tube. You need a soldering gun for that, but then all you do is you heat up each of these points and lightly tug on this, and this whole sensor will come off of there. And be careful not to get the board too hot when you do that. Uh, work quickly. So I stick a tiny screwdriver in just like that while I'm heating up the solder. And there's the result. It pops right out. Now I'm just going to hold on to this other side and heat up the other side. Pull that sensor out. And there you are. The reed switch is out. And again, your two key points that you're going to be soldering wire to are here and here, right where you took that sensor out from. I suggest really small wire. I'm using 26 gauge. We've got two leads here, about nine inches a piece. So one side of the wire I have stripped about an inch long, and the other side's really short. You want to keep that as short as possible. And now I'm going to tin the short side to get it ready to solder onto that board. Okay, now I've got both short sides tinned, and now I'm going to solder it to the board. Okay, there's the lead soldered. Now I'm going to drill a hole in the case to route the wires through the side. Okay, I'll show you how I did the holes on this one. On the side like that. And I'm going to be sealing this with hot glue after I pull the wires through. So it's okay if the holes are a little bit bigger than need be. Okay. After routing the wires through, I gently pushed the board back in place. It just snapped right in. Now I'm going to put the battery in and give it a test. Now if everything works out okay, when I touch these two leads together, the sensor will send a close signal. And when I open them, it will say open. Okay, the test was great. And I just put a couple drops of hot glue to seal the holes where the wires come through. Now I'm going to mount my other connections and show you how I'm going to make a water level sensor. I'm going to use this to detect leaks in the laundry room if, if they occur. The cardboard here from an Amazon shipping box and I poke some holes along both sides. I'm now going to weave this stiff wire uh, through there and trim it oh, somewhere down here in the bottom. Okay, so now I've got the wire weaved in between there, and now I'm simply going to wire nut the ends of these wires to each connection on the sensor. Now if this cardboard starts soaking up water and gets wet, this sensor will read it as a closed switch. Okay, what I do next is I hot glue a magnet to the sensor. Uh, since you took out the magnetic switch, this magnet won't have any effect on its use. And uh, so extended the leads. I just soldered some scrap wire I had. And then I always wire nut to that stiff wire. Because if this becomes wet and sets off, then you can easily get another piece of cardboard. Weave this wire in between the holes you make. And then just wire nut the two leads across there and it'll be ready to go again.